Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with the Yorkville First Midvale Newport Global Methodist Church, bringing you a devotional today out of the book of Ob Obadiah and Obadiah verse 21. And this, and Savior shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. We have a powerful prophecy of the return of Christ, where Obadiah is prophesying the Savior shall come to Mount Zion, Mount Zion, or Jerusalem, or in Israel is where Jesus will rule, where he will set up his throne and his kingdom, where he will rule for for the millennial kingdom. And then when he sets up the new heaven and the new earth, he will rule for eternity from there. So the Savior shall come. He shall judge Esau, judge the Gentile nations and the kingdoms. The kingdoms of the earth belong to Christ Jesus. They are his. He bought and paid for them on the cross. And one day he shall return. Boy, I hope you are excited for his return. I hope you are ready for his return. The Bible tells us out of the east he will come and touch down on the Mount of Olives, and the Mount of Olives will split apart. If you've been following the sermon series, talking about this King of Glory, what we will be talking about next Sunday is this King of Glory who split those gates, who opened up that east gate to enter into Jerusalem to set up his kingdom and his throne for all eternity. And I pray church that we are excited for this day because when he sets up his kingdom that will be the perfect kingdom you know i do think that that christians should take an active part in trying to better their their government and trying to better their their communities but if you're hoping that if we get the right person in office that everything is going to be saved and everything's going to be okay you're you have your hope misplaced no human candidate no human ruler will ever make things right things will be made right when jesus christ our lord and our savior when the king of kings when the lord of lords when he touches down so i pray you are excited for that day i pray you're praying every day for the return of the true and rightful king amen